Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lacey. So, firstly, I want to say today we are doing some simple makeup compared to what I normally do. Like, if you guys look at my Instagram, it's like, wham, bam, thank you, man. Really intense, crazy makeup looks. But I want to tone it down a little bit for you guys because I know not everybody has the time, the energy, or even the makeup to do a lot of these intense, crazy looks that you see all over Instagram, all over the internet, taking the internet by storm. So I wanted to kind of just go back to the basics and do a very simple neutral glam look. This is something I actually do quite a lot. I tend to wear this out when me and my boyfriend go to dinner or if I just want to do a simple quick makeup look, which is actually pretty much anytime I wear makeup out in public, this is pretty much what I do. I think it's simple and I just it takes me like 15 minutes to do it compared to like three hours. <laughs> Firstly, I want to say congratulations to the winner of the Mini Breaker Palette by Jeffree Star. I did list the name down below, so if you guys are interested in seeing who won that, make sure you guys check out the description box of this video. And don't fret if you didn't win. I am going to do more giveaways very soon. I try to do one every month at least. So make sure if you are new here, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that way you can be informed every single time I upload a new video. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into this video every day. So I just want to do something that's a little more user friendly. So as you can see, I have nasty unkept hair. We're going to start with base as usual. I'm going to use two different products because I feel like one is great for blurring out the fine lines and the pores and I feel like the other one is good to make the makeup last. So I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I always use this when I want my makeup to last. So I'm going to use this as like an all over the face primer. And then I'm going to take Maybelline's Master Prime, the Blur and Smooth one, the one in 100. And I'm going to get rid of these nasties, these little nasties on my face. I'm just going to apply this in my T-zone because, well, that's where all the little nasties are. I'm going to grab a spoolie brush and I'm going to run through my eyebrows with that because the primer, that Tatcha primer tends to like rip into your brows and I don't want flecky brows. I don't think I've ever looked at this ratchet on camera before. I lied, I look ratchet every day. As for filling in my eyebrows, I don't go as crazy as I normally do when I'm doing like a full glam look. So I'm going to take my brow gal, the pencil in medium brown, and I'm going to first start by just running that through my eyebrow just to kind of intensify the sparse areas. Not really shaping anything out. Because this look, I don't really want to go crazy and like reinvent my whole face like I normally do. I just want to enhance the features I have because y'all know me and I like change everything completely. And that's all I'm gonna do for my brows. I'm not gonna carve them out. I'm not gonna put nothing else in them. Yeah, see ya. See ya. See ya. And I'm gonna grab my concealer. So this is the um, Super Size Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade C3. Dot. Dot. Somebody's like aggressively walking across the hall. I'm gonna just uh, do this guy. I'm just using this normal Luxie brush that I used to put on my eye base, but I used way less than I normally would. This is the Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush. Pretty much everything that I normally do, I do it half-ass <laughs> for my glam everyday makeup. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to just take my Violet Boss Pro High Shadow in the hashtag, the hashtag palette. We got this in a boxy Luxe few months ago. I don't know, there's a video on my channel where I got this. So I'm gonna grab this big bastard 
This is the JH Faretsu brush. This thing is huge. Anyways, we're gonna take the shade Thanks a Latte, this really light shade, and I'm gonna set my base. I'm going to set my base, you guys. The reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be a very light wash of color. I don't want to pack it on like I normally do. And then I'm going to take the shade Bestie. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade using the same brush. So now I just want to use this brush. This doesn't have a name. It came out of the Morphe 702 set. I really like this brush. And I'm going to take the shade Are You Kitten Me? Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna put this in my crease, by the way. Last shade I'm going to use is Brownie Points down here in the corner. And I'm going to just pack that onto my outer V and bring it slightly into my crease. That is all blended. You are going to take this one more time just to give it an extra little blendy blend. I'm going to just grab a shimmer out of this Candylicious palette by Bombshell Cosmetics and I'm going to take the shade Milkshake because I absolutely love this color. And then I'm going to take this Morphe M326 brush. I'm going to put that, oh shit. And I'm only dipping in once because I want to sheer this out some because this color payoff is like incredibly intense. I'm just using what's left over on this brush to kind of blend those colors a little bit. And then I'm going to take like as little bit as I can and put that on my brow bone. Girl, just because I said everything is going to be very subtle, I didn't mean highlight. And my inner corner. Now I'm going to do a wing liner and I'm going to use my architect. Arc. Why did they name this like this? Architect. Eye Slim Eyeliner by LA Splash. So I'm just going to make me a wing. I always do this because, yeah, well, you know. I am going to take my Smashbox Boys on Gel Liner and I'm going to put it in my uh, tight line, water line. What is this up here? All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the face because that is the most simple part, sadly enough. Born this way. I'm gonna try to shear this out some because I don't want crazy intense full coverage. Okay, so for concealer, it's always fun to try to find like a not super intense one that's not like horribly and crazy and I don't know what I'm saying. One that doesn't have like intense coverage. So I'm gonna use my Instant Adri line by Maybelline. I don't care what people say, I don't think the coverage of this is as good as they say. And I'm just gonna do underneath my eyes and a tiny bit on my nose. And now for my under eyes, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star, what is this? The Magic Star Concealer, and this is in the shade Rose. And I'm going to take this on my E46 brush, and I'm just going to set my under eyes. And then also, I always do this with my setting powder, but I take a little bit and I stick it in my smile lines, because I have a tendency to really crease right there. And for the rest of my face, this is something that's not new to you, that have been here for a while. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 
translucent. This is the matte poreless one for normal to oily skin. And I'm going to use my Morphe Ethe A4 brush. And I'm going to focus that in the parts of the face where I'm going to contour. Because my face is sticky, y'all. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shep Shifte Palette. I'm going to grab this Morphe M530 brush and I'm going to go into the contour shade. And I'm not going to put a lot on. I'm not. Really though, like I put a ton on for videos, but like in real life, you can barely tell I have it on. Ew, was that a piece of skin? <gasps> Shit. Was that skin falling from my face? Oh, it's brush hairs. And now I'm just going to take the same brush and lightly dip into this real quick. And I'm literally just running that slightly across my cheeks. That's it. My forehead don't need nothing else but blending just needs blended so I typically wouldn't do blush either so I'm just gonna take this highlight out of the same palette okay highlights like the only thing I still go ham on I totally missed the spot on my face I don't even care okay so I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I put on lashes because I don't <laughs> You know how often I wear lashes outside of videos? I think once, ever, in my whole life. I'm not one of those people that need lashes to function every day, so I'm not gonna put them on and lie to you and act like I do. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing if you do, but I don't. But first, but first. Where's that BJ? How's it get under there? But first I'm going to, but first I'm gonna take the shade bestie on this big ass brush and run that underneath my eye okay that did nothing i'm gonna take this e17 brush and i'm gonna go with are you kidding me under there too are you kidding me come on you've got to be kidding me okay now we're gonna go with brownie brownie point Okay, so for this look, I won't. I'm not gonna put um, eyeliner on my waterline, but I am gonna get out my Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara, and I'm gonna put that on my eyelashes. I curl my lashes, and then I put waterproof mascara on because it keeps the curl. And this is the only one I have, the only waterproof eyeliner I have. This is not eyeliner. This is mascara. Lacy, mascara. Nice to meet you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's I got it on my fucking eyelid. <sighs> you got to be kidding me. A few moments later. Why is it taking so long just to apply this? Oh fuck no. You've got to be kidding me. You got it on my face. Whatever. You're kidding me, right? <sighs> Look at that hair. <laughs> and lastly for this, I'm going to add some roller wash to the bottom. And no, I'm not kidding you. I'll deal with it. It's not even on that side. I'll deal with you later. Okay, that's how you become a basic bitch. Now I need a nude lip. Two nude. Oh, well, we're going to go with Stripped by ABH. Ooh, this is literally my lip color. Alright guys, so this is it for the face. See how my teeth look white? Alright, so this is it for the face. I will be right back with the rest of me. Snatched. Alright guys, so that is it for this look. This is me all done. My hair's a little dirty, so that's why I put it up in a ponytail. So this is just an easy makeup tutorial for people that really don't do a whole lot of makeup or am not super into it. 
I mean, I know that it's difficult for me to try to do a full-on crazy intense look and then go out in public because I am super anal about the way my makeup looks. But I mean, this is enough for me. It's enough for the average user. I know a lot of people actually prefer a simple style over a full glam. I think full glam should be saved for prom and weddings and stuff like that. Unless you are just one of those people that genuinely like to do your makeup and have hours to do it. Literally this takes me probably 15 minutes ish. I forgot something. I forgot brow primer guys. So I usually do brow gel. I'm going to use this Urban Decay one. This is the, the brow endowed um, gel. I always use a brow primer. Be not a brow primer. Stop calling it a primer. I always use a brow gel because it usually leaves my hairs nice and flat and makes sure they don't go anywhere. But anyways guys, that is it for the rest of the... <laughs> so this is pretty basic. You can go without the wing. Like I said, you can add lashes, you can add more stuff, take away stuff, however you want. This is just my easy glam look. Like I said, this is just something I would put on real quick to go to dinner with my boyfriend or have date night, which actually is tonight. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this video because I know a lot of times I do these intense, crazy makeup looks and it's been a while since I've done a really neutral kind of just glam look so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up I've got a really good video coming for you guys so stay tuned and also I do want to say congratulations again to the winner of the Jeffree Star mini breaker palette but anyways guys I love you and I hope to see you in the next video bye <laughs>